Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is take two because uh, I just did a whole video where I talked down, for a few minutes down. and when I went back to check it, there was no talking because my mic came unplugged and I didn't realize it. <laughs> so, um, which is cool because I can eliminate some of my rambling hopefully by I doing this, trying this again. Distance. So, anyways, uh, what I, what I was saying or what I wanted to say in the other video is. Uh, the last few days have been kind of slow with uh, videos. I've just been publishing my Diablo 3 videos to the site. Uploaded a while back. Holy shit. Um, and the last few days, let me start with. Um, I'm 31. I've been shaving my head since I was 18. And it just makes sense on so this isn't like completely out of left field uh you know um, as you guys probably know from some of my videos music i listen to in the background or you know even things i've said i i am a heavy metal fan i listen to a little bit of everything but primarily i'm i'm a heavy metal fan so when i was like 18 you know i was, I was in a band and uh, i was like yeah, metal rules and uh i had long hair and everything and, but the downside to having long hair was I also had curly hair. Not like uh, curly Q hair or anything like that, but I mean like if, if I didn't, like I had to put shit in it to keep it straight and stuff like that. And, like if, if I went a day or two, like if so that Friday morning I took a shower and went to school and then, or whatever, and then like Friday night we played a show and whatever, like Chances are Sunday morning I look like that, or Saturday morning I look like that a fro. You know, I mean, it was bad. It'd just be like, poof. <laughs> so, uh, you know, one time I, right around Thanksgiving, this used to piss my mom off, because the first time I got any piercings was like, uh, right around Thanksgiving, I think I, I might have been like 17, I pierced my own ears, and, uh, it was like a week before Thanksgiving, and we were having Thanksgiving dinner with this, like, real conservative, uh, uncle and she was pissed you know it's like you couldn't wait till after after the holidays and then uh you know the following year i you know that year i graduated high school and then like i said i got out of the shower my hair was all really fucking knotted up and nappy and shit and i just got pissed off and didn't feel like dealing with it so i shaved my head a week before thanksgiving and we were having thanksgiving with the same uncle <laughs> Again, why do you have to do this right before the holidays and blah blah blah? And, but I mean, you know, my parents are cool. She was just busting my balls. But uh, you know, I did that for a while, and then I think I was like, might have been like I don't have 22 or something power. like that. And I was like, oh, I should grow my hair back. And uh, apparently, my hair had a different opinion on that. Uh, we didn't. We didn't uh, see eye to eye on that. As much as I shaved off, it didn't. That much didn't want to come back, so I was kind of like, oh, well, guess I'll just keep shaving it, so. Turned out that uh, everybody even said I looked better with the shaved head than I did with hair, so it kind of worked out for the best in the long run, but. Um, anyways, long story short, Easter weekend just happened, and I was off the weekend, so. Friday I was outside, Saturday I was outside all day, Sunday I went over to my parents' house, we had Easter dinner, I went outside. And uh, it was nice out, and I got what I can only describe as a nuclear flash burn on my head. I mean, it was it it was red. Uh, I looked like the red skull. It was bad, and like I mean, it hurt Sunday, but Sunday night, you know, I came home and. I think it was like 11 o'clock I went to bed, you know, because I'm lame. And I woke up probably about 1.30. I had a migraine, my body hurt, I had the chills. I, I knew right there I got pretty fucked up from this sunburn, so. Uh, Monday morning, you know, I finally got back to sleep. Uh, Monday morning, I, my head was just pounding. And like, I, I felt alright if I stayed stationary. But man, the minute I moved, I just went to hurl and just die. I mean, it was, oh, it was, it was bad. And, um, I 
ran out of painkillers, I, you know, just ibuprofen, nothing like spectacular or anything like that. And I didn't even want to get in the truck and drive to the store and get painkillers. It was just like, oh, I'm just going to sit here and be miserable. And I had to go it. back to work that night. I, I work at a plastics plant. And, um, you know, it, there's FDA regulations and everything involved. And, uh, so you have to wear hairnets, which is fucked up since I shaved my head. But, um, man, that hairnet on that tender ass chart barbecued skin that oh man that was bad but my head hurt all night pretty much and then tuesday my head hurt today's wednesday actually that i'm recording this um, my head still kind of hurts I need but tuesday power. i was looking in, um, from playing diablo 3 you know I, as i said when i was doing the playthrough i, I had a vague idea of the storyline of diablo so I got curious and I ordered the uh, Diablo ba Diablo 2 battle chest off Amazon and it came today and I installed everything and tried to play it. And just like, just the way the game looks and everything, and, uh, there's a lot of reading and, and parts and uh, just still kind of fighting this headache and, and everything kind of just added up and just made my head pound. So. Uh, not doing too, not playing too many games, I and mean, obviously I'm playing Diablo here. But, um, kind of just taking it easy on the gaming until um, this all clears up. Like right now, like everything's starting to feel too, so that's, it hurts having my headset on because I got like this fresh baby skin on the top of my head. And, uh, it's kind of gross because I look like a meal from the end of, uh, Robocop after he gets doused and all those chemicals and shit. But, um. Uh, but I do want to, you know, start. I don't know if I want to play. Like, I don't know if, if I play Diablo 2, I don't, I don't know if I want to make videos. Uh, I can't use Shadow Play, so I, I was screwing around with OBS. But, um. The test video I made that only recorded like half of the screen and stuff like that. And, um, you and your fire chain. But also at the same time, like I don't know if I want to get into a big huge RPG again right away after finishing this. Plus I'm still playing a lot of this, trying to find some gear and things like that. But, uh, you know, I definitely, I, I discovered a lot of games on my PC that I have that I haven't even played yet because I buy games on Steam sales or the Humble Bundles and things like that. So I, uh, I got some games I do want to play I'll, that I'll probably do gameplay videos for. Um, kind of backing out of Borderlands a little bit just because I like, I've played a lot of Borderlands and, and I do like Borderlands. I'm not saying I'm never going to make another Borderlands 2 video or Borderlands 1 video. But like, one thing I noticed is, and I've been watching a lot of other channels and, uh, because really, I mean, diversity is the best way to expand your knowledge on something. And, uh, I subscribe to some channels that I've never seen before, but I started watching a couple videos, and truth be told, guys, um, one of the ones I subscribe to, and I don't name drop a lot of channels I subscribe to, but I mean, I mean, it's pretty clear who I do and don't, because you can just check my about section on my page and see who I'm subscribed to, but, uh, stumbled across a video by Boogie2988, you guys might, may or may not know who he is, he does the Francis videos, and I had seen the Francis videos, <coughs> excuse me, and admittedly, um, the Francis videos, like, they're funny, but they're, they weren't my bag, you know, but, uh, he has some videos on there where he's pretty candid, and he's himself, uh, he's not playing any character or anything like that, and I watched a couple of those after I just seen the first one, I forget what it's about, but, um, like, the dude is a down-to-earth guy, and he makes some good videos, um, and I highly recommend checking out his channel, even like, in, like I said, you don't even have to watch the Francis videos. Watch the other videos he does. I mean, he's just a cool dude. And, uh, like, he's somebody I could sit down with, have a cup of coffee, and bullshit with for hours, probably. But, um, 
you know, I subscribe to his channel and a couple other channels and uh, just kind of seeing, like, and they all kind of do the same thing, but, like, the one thing I noticed is, like, you have these, you have some guys that they're very diverse with their channels, and you have some guys that they're on their fifth, their umpteenth Cromerax kill, and it's like, yeah, that's cool, but, like, I can only watch somebody kill Cromerax so many different ways, or once you get up into, like, 25 Pyro Peak kills, it's like, okay, do something else. And, you know, I mean, that's fine if that's what they want to do and stuff like that, but I don't want to, I guess, rest on my laurels, I guess. You know, I don't want to, like, I want to have diversity. I want to do different things. I play different games. I don't want to be shoehorned into playing a specific game because um, I'm not trying to make money. I'm not trying to get millions of views, you know? So, in Diablo videos, uh, view to subscriber ratio, I, I guess I could say that Diablo videos do okay. I, and I understand Diablo is for everybody. And, but, like, some games, like, I don't know how this Deadpool thing is going to work. I'm uploading another Deadpool video. But, uh, like, Deadpool is kind of like Colonial Marines. Like, there's promise there. Or there was promise there, like they had good intentions, and then they just dropped the ball and settled on mediocrity. You know, I don't know. But, um, I'm definitely gonna probably start getting more diverse with my gaming videos, and uh, I'm gonna start doing more, um, like, thoughts and opinion pieces. You know, kind of get the ball rolling with that, the Torchlight videos, which I don't know how to label those, because I think people see that and they're just like, oh, it's Torchlight gameplay, but it's Torchlight gameplay. But it's like, more like a vlog type of thing, you know? I don't know how to, like, present that to people, because my channel does need a little bit of an overhaul, because, like, I look at it, and it's like, at least to me, I look at it, and it kind of looks like a clusterfuck to me. Um, I don't know if that's the impression you guys get. Help me out there, maybe leave a comment. But, um... You know, too, and, and you know, leave a comment below, like, what can I do to things, um, what's working, what's not working, you know, I, I like hearing from you guys, because, you know, by telling me, even criticism and, you know, telling me, like, hey, this works, this doesn't work, blah, 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 you know, that, that's helping me, you know, and I got pretty thick skin, you know, I mean, as long as you have a well thought, even if it's a negative opinion, if you have a well thought out opinion, that's better than leaving no comment or just being like, fuck you, you suck, die. <laughs> Um, because in the end, as much as I make these videos for myself, it, it is, you know, now that I'm actually gaining subscribers and stuff like that, and, uh, little by little, it, it it's, it's kind of cool to be able to entertain people, and the fact that you guys take the time to watch my videos, I want to be able to at least make sure they're entertaining, and get something out of the time that you're spending watching them. So, uh, you know, like I said, I mean, any, any little bit of criticism or feedback you guys leave, I mean, that's, that's going to help, and, um, you know, I, I, I think to some extent Twitch might be a good option, too, for some of these games, but at the same time, like, I don't know what I'm comfortable with streaming, uh, my stream times would be real fucked up, too, because I work midnights, and my sleep patterns are really screwed up, sometimes I sleep early in the day, sometimes I sleep later in the day, I've been on my days off, I got my son, my house is the size of a shoebox, so when he's in bed, I can't really be talking real loud or anything like that. And his bedroom, the bedroom door is like right off the living room, so I mean, he can hear everything. He's got school, and I don't want to wake him up and all that, you know. So I mean, I, I don't know about the Twitch things, but uh, I mean, it might be something. And I keep talking about it. I know I'm sounding like a broken record, guys, because I do keep bringing it up, but. Uh, it, but it does interest me, you know, so I think eventually I'm just going to say fuck it, give it a shot. Uh, but, uh, you know, we'll see how schedules line up, how personal things uh, line up, stuff like that. But I think first and foremost, i, I got to get to find a focus and, like, my niche on YouTube and what, I'm, what works for me and what 
seems to be the best thing that I can provide for people. I mean, I got a little bit of everything. I got the gameplay videos, I got my original music, I got the sort of vloggy type of things, which I try to keep those short so I can, I, I can go on quite a while on things that I'm passionate about and interested in and stuff like that. So uh, even now, I'm sure this video is running over what I intended, intended for it to be as far as length. But, um... I think that's... That, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to get across in this, you know. So, I mean, like I said, you know, you guys, you know, let me know. You know keep, and you guys have been wonderful. I mean, you guys leave feedback. And, uh, what do you do? You know, I take into consideration what you guys say and stuff like that. So, I mean, it, it does help, you know. And, um... You know, we'll see how it goes from here on out. But, um... I think, I don't know, like, I've been tossed around maybe making, like, an intro or something. I, know, I like... being creative and weird and quirky. But, um... I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> That's on the back burner for now. But, um... You know, like always, guys, I, I want to thank you all for watching, and, um... You dare attack Thank you me. for the support, and we'll see you in the next video. And if you shave your head, put some fucking sunscreen on, for God's sake. Don't end up like me, like what I did over the weekend. Alright. Have a good one, guys.